Okay, I do have this armor. Hello everybody, uh, Glitch Reaper here, and I wasn't going to record uh, in this exact way yet, but Baba Yaga has officially invaded my TARDIS, uh, which I find uh, kind of fascinating because I thought that whenever I walked out of my TARDIS I would have to deal with this situation because I have been doing uh, uh, fortune quests, I guess you could say, or fortune telling quests actually to be more precise. Uh, if I keep using my crystal ball, eventually you face Baba Yaga. And here's Baba Yaga. I didn't think she'd be able to pop up inside my TARDIS. Now, I have done some other various quests, including getting villagers, because I had a few that were dehydrated because or spawn, uh, and uh, some others kind of popped up because of the quests, and I can explain those more later. But right now, the more pressing concern is I have Baba Yaga in my house. And I'm not even sure if this weapon's the best choice. I can sneak around carefully right now, and I don't think she's going to go away. Like, period. Um, of course, she does have a damage limit, I believe, so I don't think even using the armor-piercing weapon that I've got will be a big difference, because this one has a ton of attack power. So let's just go in and engage. Whoa! She obliterated me! Uh, okay. Uh, special lesson? Apparently. Uh, Superman doesn't like magic. Uh, okay. Time to whip out the big things. That was fast. I think she's still in there. Uh, okay. Let's see, do I have any golden apples in here for food? Yes, I do. Uh, I don't like the idea of relying on them th this much, but I don't have much of a choice. I do have other superhero and special armors around, but... Most of which are in other places. Um, and do I want to go all out? Because I'm up against the Slavic divinity here. This is kind of a bit uh, different. Also, this jerking motion is kind of getting on my nerves. It's, it's, it's something that happens when you have super speed plus super speed. Uh, it, it's... okay. Let me see. That's Moss Scale. It's Ultimate. That's not going to be much help because uh, this is Peacock. Queen's, uh, this is Mobzilla. I wonder if I got my queen scale in the battle axe, because I think I'm going to have to go all out now that I've been actually taken down by Bob Yaga at least once. Uh, hello. Excuse me. Okay. Queen battle axe. Uh, Mobzilla. Where's my queen scale armor? I had it a while ago. Oh, it's over there. But I got the... Got the axe over here. I guess it's because it wasn't exactly a true set, per se. I think this is yeah, this is my queen scale, because I swapped it out with my uh, Superman a while back, because that's where I've been kind of storing it here, because it kind of looks system. good with the Dan TDM goggles for some reason. I mean, come on, flying around, you wouldn't want to have the wind in your face. Wouldn't you think Superman would like some, some flight goggles there? I mean, it'd be very appreciated. I still float because... Uh, I, th I believe these boots kind of help with that. Okay, this is no more Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> this is officially the, the time using the Dimensional Witch powers big time. Are you still around, Baba Yaga? Did you actually go away somehow? I, I, I don't think it's normally possible for her to despawn like that. Or did she go somewhere else? Because she can teleport around, too. Oh, that, 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 was, that was interesting. Is she still mad? Or do I have to do more quests in the meantime? Because I, I was going to do other other things. Anyhow, when I got interrupted by by, by, by Bob Yaga. Uh, apparently you have to do more quests, because it was saying before that I'd angered the crone and her sisters, as the way of saying Bob Yaga was coming. Apparently if she kills you, she does in fact despawn and then just goes away. Okay. Uh... I guess I can do something different now, since that that happened. Okay, um... Do I want to have my super suit or these? I have some good armors left. A lot of these I collected over time. Some of them were craftable pretty easily. Some of them have been various pieces from Pac-Man, which happens. Uh... Hmm. Just various stuff over time. I think I'm going to keep the full set on in case I need it. 
I'm going to have this in my inventory and I'll switch it into my main line if I need to. Because I didn't think that was going to happen. Hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, l l let's see, what was I going to do? Oh, now I remember. I was going to try the dance party routine. It was one of the things I was originally thinking of doing, but uh, Baba Yaga invading my TARDIS. That, that was kind of a uh, bit different. Uh, I'll have to build back up to her, because I, I was actually wanting to. I just didn't think Superman was so weak to magic. That is a thing. Uh, superheroes and supervillains from uh, Superheroes Unlimited do have weaknesses like that. So I was kind of uh, blasted. Okay. Let me see here. Um... Do I have enough minerals? I may have enough for a dance floor. I'm uh, not sure if certain things count. Like iron might not count towards the dance floor. I'm not sure. I mean, I, it could. It could. I, I'm just not 100% sure. I'd have to look that back up because that's that's on the ore spawn wiki. Because there, there's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And it's because they kind of said it was a cool thing to do. Uh, this may be a little mixed, but I think it'll be enough. The thing is, whenever I step outside, I'm at, what, at my uh, general uh, world spawn-like location. Uh, even smelting those, I don't think I'll have enough. Those are actually troll blocks. <laughs> I can't use that. Um, I, oh, I need to condense my iron a bit more. Uh, that'll definitely help. Uh, I'll I'll see if these work. I might be able to use precious blocks from ore spawn because it is the same mod as this feature. So yeah, it might work. Uh, I'll 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 see if they don't dance because they're supposed to be able to dance. Because th the thing I'm trying to do is it says that if you have girlfriends, that if you have like a a uh, like a almost like a bed of precious metals, or layer of precious metals in a dance floor configuration. Oh yeah, I still need to do those diamonds. Uh, that what will happen is I'll start dancing, and it's especially cool to do under an experience tree. I have one growing, but yeah, I, you can't bone meal that tree. It refuses to do so. So, because of that, and I don't have like most to the other kind of mods I normally use to accelerate plant growth around here, uh, I'm kind of a little limited to waiting for it to grow. I do have a lot of girlfriend spawn eggs. Uh, the reason why is because, well, I uh, have Easter bunnies and they lay spawn eggs of all sorts of things. I found that they have, in fact, laid some more for some things vanilla-ish, mostly. It, oh, I see they're socializing. Way to go, guys. Gals. Giles, actually. Giles. Giles. Uh, you can say it with a joysy accent. Giles. Okay, that works. Uh, I've accumulated a lot of points. Uh, thank you, or spawn bosses, for dropping insane things I can use to capacitate energy. Okay, uh, I will need a lot of flowers. Ah, uh, no. It apparently goes by actually. Okay, so I can do this. Uh, I don't want to shift click because this is the version of this mod that has where it tries to fill your entire inventory, so I just kind of need to speed click, actually. Um. I wish there was a way to just say I want 64 of these at a time, because I'll... Oh wait, uh... Oh yeah, I, I, I will need a lot of these, and I'll need a lot of roses even more so. I think I'll take half a stack of these, because this is mostly for costume changes. Uh... Uh, I need, uh, poppies. Yeah, poppies. Otherwise known as roses. And when that change came around, a lot a lot of people were like, why did you do that? Well, uh, there, there was actually a reasoning behind it. Uh, the thing is that roses normally, in nature, happen more of a bush form. You don't see them just as a single little flower popping out of the ground. It's not how that works uh, in real life. So whenever they added rose bushes in 1.7, uh, I may actually need two stacks. I'm just going to be cautious. Uh, the thing is that when they added the rose bushes, they kind of corrected for that thing. That, uh, it, like, they were finally doing the right thing in Minecraft as to how that was supposed to actually look. And how they were supposed to 
you know, just be a bush. Well, the thing is that now this presented them with a problem. A lot of people like the look of the red flower, but at the same time, they didn't want to, like, just lose it because they now finally had the bush that actually works. Uh, so the thing is, they decided to just give it a slight texture change and a rename to make sure that it was still around in the game. And I may put this up. This is, again, my serious business weapon. Because it's uh, the uh, Queen's Scale Battle Axe is armor-piercing. As you may remember, I kind of blasted a queen recently. Of course, I'm, I think I got this one actually from a uh, killer Pac-Man. Th those things give you the most fabulous loot in the world, seriously. It's just like, wow. Is it really... I keep... Oh yeah, I, th I think I did have that here, because it kind of, in a way, looks like it goes with the Mobzilla. But the Queen Scale Armor is the most fantastic in terms of pure defense in Ore Spawn. It, has a, it does not come with enchantments, unlike a lot of the other stuff that's auto-enchanting. Uh, but it does have a high enchantability. Door refuses to open for... Oh, this again. Is, am I recharging? No, I am not. Uh, do I need to change... My, uh, you know what I'm going to try to do? Uh, I'm going to try to do my facing wheel shift. Uh, wait, is that saying I'm going towards Wakanda? I didn't think I was going towards Wakanda. Why, why is it saying going towards Wakanda? Oh, I called it there because I needed to exit after something. Okay. Okay, I, I needed to go to the overworld. Hello here. So, I have enough energy, so I just need to power up my TARDIS and, and go to the overworld. That, that's what I need to do. Ah, the stabilizers help so much. I don't have to worry about doing all this stuff. Buttons and all that, although the one trip I did do that way gave me so much TARDIS experience, I, like, earned the ability to have the stabilizers in just one flight. Not to mention a few other things. It was kind of an epically long flight that was totally unintentional. I wound up drifting all over the place. Am I already here? Am I already at the overworld? Yes, I am. Um, okay. Uh, I guess I'll be going back to my original... Still refuses to open for some reason. Why is that a thing? Hmm. This has happened to me sometimes in the past, and relogging usually works. Uh, I think it's because I died in the TARDIS, and then respawned in the TARDIS, because I have the special setup that makes it where I show up back here. Uh, I don't even think this was technically in... No, oh, it wasn't in uh, in transmat mode. It was in recall mode, which I think transmatting is automatic even if you don't have it in the mode anyhow. So I don't think that's relevant. Anyhow, I'm going to log off here, log back on, and see if my door is working. So I'll just get close to the door and see if I can pop out because my, my, this this happens to me once in a while. I don't know why. Sometimes my TARDIS just doesn't want me to leave. It just loves me too much. It's going no, no, please don't leave me. And if you didn't know, TARDISes actually do have feelings. Uh, just watch enough Doctor Who. You'll find out that TARDISes do, in fact, have... Oh, really? Oh, God. everybody. Thank you for defending me. I don't have to deal with this on my own. It's a good thing I've accumulated a YouTuber army. Thank you, everybody. And now they sit back down. Okay. Um, oh, I have I have such intense amounts of stuff that I, I can't actually hold on to this all this money. Because I was going to build a dance floor and things went terribly wrong. <laughs> ah, that reminds me. Well, it's a good time to show off another feature of YouTubers Plus, actually. Uh, this here is called a bank. You can throw your money in it. And as long as you have a bank card, which I do have, you can also automatically have it sucked into it. Uh, I may need to relocate these flowers just to be able to hold the money. Boink. I click that. Money goes away. Is there any other money left around here? Was that it? Because it wasn't really a big enemy, it was just a zombie. Well, it's supposed to be dynamically figured, and the zombies have higher stats in this version of Crazy Craft. So, it probably should have been more money than that. Although, I'll see how much it was, because I'll just look in here. Uh, 50 and a 1. I've kind of burnt through my cash. <laughs> This is what happens when you actually do the heavy trades in YouTubers Plus, is you are out of money. Uh, I think I'll just hold those in for now.
because that will be fair enough. I do have plenty of other food, like the cooked peacock. Uh, let's see here. Now, I am in the right spot. I have ran afoul of the undead and just shown that quest randomly, because apparently you can pull them out of nowhere. It's not just you being attacked by one, it is the fact that they can actually show up regardless. So some of these quests are able to fulfill themselves. Be inundated with iron. Okay, if I mine iron, or even in fact, possibly I'm just doing regular mining like through regular stone, there's a possibility I get more iron than usual and it counts that. So that's how that one works. So th there's different of, of these uh, fortune teller quests. Refuses to open. I really do need to log off. I, I, I'll, I'll be back, folks. I, I'll be back.